Hey there berries, welcome to another Evercore Heroes uh, closed beta video. Uh, in this video we're going to be covering Beko. It's one of the starter and the easiest healer that you can play uh, with in Evercore Heroes at the moment. Beko is pretty similar to something like a Restoration Druid if you played World of Warcraft. Uh, lots and lots of healing uh, and you can detonate um, your heal uh, in order to basically do more of a heal. So lots of heals over times called HOTS that you can detonate. Um, so point and click. So right now I'm just point and clicking to heal people with my Q. The primary way if you are interested in doing damage is actually via auto attacks. So lots and lots of auto attacks. Uh, so Beko's Q is basically just a point and click heal. Uh, that also should apply uh, a heal over time on. It's not uh, super obvious that it does that. Uh, and then your W can also detonate the heal over time uh, to basically heal um, the remainder of the healing left on the heal over time. Also the W also uh, has a hot on it as well. So you can kind of heal two people over time doing Q on one target or doing, and then doing W on a different target, or you can do like a huge burst of healing on one target. So for this on this uh, tank here, for example, if I do Q and then W, it's like a massive heal that deals around about 1,000 healing with a QW combo. Um, at the moment on Beko, in terms of items, you don't really have to dip too much into like healing power stuff. Uh, you want to take like utility, like things like when you auto attack something, you do like more damage to the target. Um, but that is basically the gist. Uh, we're going to get uh, Confuse in a second, which is on our E. And Cumes basically, Confuse basically uh, makes it so that the mobs attack. That was a QW there on the tank just to give him a giga burst of healing. So here we're going to Confuse the, uh, the Elite here, this healing Elite. In order to try and interrupt some of its casts, give a heal over to the Zari, the ranged archer. Basically, lots of Qs and Ws being used in order to heal. You've got basically two very big, chunky yeah. healing spells. Putting Confuse on the uh, Elite here so it doesn't cast for a couple of seconds. We're not going to be able to kill this. We kind of need to push it away from the green puddle in order to be able to kill it. I'm going to try and confuse it when it nets its next cast. So I interrupted it there with the confuse on that channel. It's taking a little while. We've got no way to push this out either. Hopefully get it on the next loop. This is taking an awful long time to kill. It's because we don't have a pushback to knock it away from when it's in the green circle. And this early stage it's quite a big deal to kill. Oh god. Just maybe just leave it. Just not bother trying to kill the next one. I don't want to kill two of those back to back. So putting um, more points in E increases the confused duration. So we're actually going to max uh, E second. So basically if someone needs a lot of healing you're doing QW on them, otherwise you're just using a Q or a W just to give them a little bit of healing over time. So there it interrupted that golem from doing that stomp on a tank, but ideally you kind of want to make sure you're doing... You're confused on the, uh, the healers to stop them healing. Team isn't doing a very good job at interrupting the heals, even with the confuse. I think Tear does have quite a few uh, stuns, which is kind of butchering this quite a bit. <laughs> I think we've got a couple of new players here. There's someone really low health there. Just a quick QW there, just to heal them up. need to try and get to that event on the opposite side of the map. Where we 
probably going to be pretty far behind in resources and stuff, but we'll see how we do. No. Huh. It's pretty very simple champion to play. The ultimate is basically a massive green circle that goes onto the ground and does more healing, so three healing abilities overall. Yeah, we should probably take teleport. Make our way over. So basically, auto attacking, physical damage, like debuff items, are basically what you're looking for here. So from this shot, we can take inspiration. Marked enemies take seven percent more damage. We should amplify our damage team's damage a little bit. We should try and do this loom crucible while we can. Managed to pull quite a few mobs here. No. And trap that healer with the confuse. With the inspiration debuff, you just want to try and hit as many different mobs as possible. Don't think we're going to get to that. Uh, Loom Crucible at the top, unfortunately. We're getting there. But we still need to kind of make it to this event here, which we're going to be late on to as well. Which event is it? It's Trial of the Vanquish, so we need to kill monsters on top of the circles. So you can see there the AoE that that golem just did because I confused it. Did damage to the other mobs. So that's another way that Becca can do damage. Need to attack them on the circles. Not sure that some of them are aware maybe. That circle down there is done. We have no way of pushing these mobs in. This is like a really horrible objective for our team. We're not doing too hot. Uh, so we're probably going to come third. See how that stunned the other mobs. Oh, we don't actually need to kill them on the circle. Yeah, I don't know why we're killing them on that circle. I'm in my own little world right now as well. Kill them! The event's about to be over. So we came third in the event. We're the lowest on loom right now. We're not looking too hot. Um. Gonna grab this attack speed physical shard. The next surge wave is and then usually the tank and the healer goes onto the double portals. Yeah. Uh, So basically, we're just trying to kind of try and confuse, confuse um, some of the mobs here. Just to let them attack each other. Also, we're going to have to keep an eye on health bars on the other teams, on the other teammates that we have here too, just to make sure that they uh, don't go down unnecessarily. Looks like our Zari is in a bit of trouble. I'm going to increase the confuse duration. I'm not actually going to put more points in heal at the moment. Okay, we're getting there, but it's a little bit messy. 
Looks like a lot of these minions are blo getting blocked right now. Got big stuff incoming apparently. Let's put the debuff, the inspiration debuff on more of these monsters. Get this funky guy to attack the other guy instead. Let's start making sure we use more ultis soon. Confuse the big monkey to attack his friends instead, that seemed to do okay. Use a QW there on the tier. It's not looking too good for us. I don't think I can res in there. He, there's too many mobs here that have been stacked up. So purple team we're about to go. We just kind of need to hold aggro or stuff. And take them off the mobs as best as we can. Managed to drop a confuse on the fire guy just before I went down here, but uh, it's looking really close. Actually, three teams here looking pretty oof. I've got to slam down again. Are we about to lose? We got five loom left. Try and stack up. What a mess of a of a defense. We really, really, really need loom. We got five loom. So we're a bit behind the levels, a bit behind in gold. Team Blue are very, very happy right now. But yeah, that uh, core defense uh, didn't go so great. But we'll see what we can do. So we'll try and confuse the green ones just to make sure they don't. I think we're looking for a second place kind of finish here, I think, with this team. Which isn't too bad for a pug, honestly. So you can tell what the confuse is, it's like a little purple debuff on the on the enemy. With like a little no. question mark. We have to go for that gauntlet, the purple gauntlet, to do damage to like the green's core to put them on the same as us. So, usually, when a mob's doing ch a channel like that. It interrupts the cast, but if you can actually get it before its own cast is on the cooldown, it will do like the uh, the AOE ability. Onto their allies, if that makes sense, because the confuse duration is long enough, it goes up 0.5 per point. That's why we're looking to max that first. So if we, the lowest you can get down on an enemy team's core is 10 in this kind of round. No. So if I confuse it, you see how it's going to do that slam? It's a nice little way to do a bit of extra damage. I'm going to try and get the confuse down before they use their ability. I've actually got some stun grenades in my power, so I'm going to try and use that on the next wave to try and buy us a little bit of time maybe. Gonna pop my ulti down here. That's like the uh, no. tier uses as well. I think it's just a quite a new group of players here playing the game for the first time. That's why it's looking a little bit rough. But it's nice also to see that there's people, new players, playing the game too. We can head towards these crucibles and grab some extra power for our team. So we're actually second in loom now. We've got a loom generator kicking in, so we're gonna get extra loom over time. 
But we're pretty behind in like gold and experience right now, so the actual like head to head event's gonna be extremely difficult. Oh, I did confuse on the crucible. I tried to use it on the uh, on the green. Oh, I'm not sure I actually killed him there. This isn't dying quick enough. This crucible. No. I don't know why it's taking so long to kill. Pull my ulti up again. Oh dear. No. This is how far behind we are in XP and damage right now. Some extra bit of gold. Let's try and get some extra stats. Just hit that. Hit it. This seems to be dying a bit quicker this time. Okay, good. That was much better. Now we need to get to the spider event. just gonna maybe be able to scrape by to get to the head-to-head -head, but our team is extremely poor right now. don't think there's really anything here I can look to buy if I'm honest. I think there's actually one item where it's like puts a flame damage thing on them that debuff that might be quite useful. Um, but yeah on this event the spider event you have to heal the spider. The spider puts down mines So you gotta make sure you heal the spider up lots. Maybe I'm gonna heal it now, even though it's four HP, just to make sure nothing too grief goofy happens. So you see, it goes over those mines in it. Oh, not sure I actually got hit by that. Just gonna put down my ulti. I should help the spider as well. Just need to make it walk over these mines. Spider is trying to get itself killed. Nice, we're actually doing pretty well on this event. See any dead? Okay, that wasn't too bad. We came first in the event. That's really, really good. We have no chance of winning the event. <laughs> we did really well to actually get to this point. Um, so yeah, we can get this flame touch thing. We can also increase our healing if we want to, but our healing is really strong anyway, so we don't really need that. Just get a little bit more damage in. To the same plan, it's going to be a little bit more harsher mobs. I'm not sure if we are going to necessarily going to be able to keep up, but we'll do our best and see how it goes. Okay, we got little explodey ones. Your Evercore is under attack. I need to go and give this one a heal. This tier is not tagging everything that's coming through. 
Unbreakable. What we're trying. Okay, another point on my ulti. If I can manage it, there we go. Uh, this Zeri needs healing. No. Let's put two heal over times on them just to be a bit more sustained so they do the W then the Q. Use the big monkeys. Oh, we survived. Probably one of the most scuffed uh, moxie ones that we've done, but uh, it's all good. So, on the head to head here, you're gonna have to deal with Lashes attacking the core, Elite spawning. Little insects spawning and killing the nest to stop some of the uh, the insects are spawning onto towards the core as well. Confuse. So we need to kill these nests as well, but as you can see, because damage not exactly uh, S tier. Biko does have mana, but Biko has absolutely no mana issues whatsoever, so it's almost pointless to the fact that it actually has uh, has mana. team's already taken one damage on their core. So if you're the first in the head-to-head -head in terms of getting to having the most loom going into the head-to-head, -head, you start on 130. And team 2 gets uh, 100. Use it a little bit just to keep it in place. Oh gosh. Careful. Let's try and stand in front of the wave. It's not going to charge to kind of block it a little bit there. From the sun to my bow. No. Seems a little bit confused at the moment, doesn't it? Our team needs healing. Your Evercore is under attack. So the core is taking a little bit of damage. Yeah. Our core is taking a lot of damage actually from those insects. Interrupt its charge. That's going to hit the core. Also, the E, if you use it on an ally, it is a cleanse. So, if one of your allies is kind of stuck in a stun or something, you can use that to kind of get out. Oh, a lot of teammates going down here. Oh no. Wait, what? We won? <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, well we won. The other team somehow, I think the enemy team wiped. So we actually somehow managed to win. I don't honestly know how. I think they maybe ended up with three players there in the end, but... That was probably literally the most scuffed Moxie win I've ever had in my life. But I hope that kind of gives you an introduction 
two Beko. Very, very easy to play as you can see. You can see Q is a heal over time, the W is a heal over time. If you have a Q and an ally, the W detonates that Q to basically do a big burst of healing. The E is a confuse or a cleanse, so you can uh, you know, make enemies attack themselves, but try and make sure you do the E before they do the cast, so that you know those golems that are doing that big circle, for example, they can stun their own allies, but they have to be confused before they do the cast. Always they get interrupted doing the cast. Um, but it is a good way to interrupt cast as well, like you saw from like, the healers, for example. It can act like a stun to interrupt those casts as well. Um, and then your ulti is just that massive giant circle on the ground that heals. So very, very easy healer to play. I would highly recommend if you are interested in playing support, you play Beko. Um, I believe you get Beko for free anyway when you're first playing the game. So very, very good introduction. And if you are like kind of scared by playing with yourself, I would recommend Beko as most people are okay with having a Beko in a group anyway. So um, yeah, literally the most scuffed uh, victory I've ever had in my life, but <laughs> wins a win. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're interested in more Evercore Heroes uh, guides and gameplay things, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also on twitch.tv slash I've been helping lots and lots of new players uh, playing the game. Um, and hopefully soon I should be able to get a content creator code. Um, so be on the lookout for that if you are interested in playing the game or uh, wanting to buy some skins or something. So yeah, all the best, take care and see you soon for another video. Bye.